Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here to give you guys my review for The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 11. And this episode is called um, Hostels and Calamities. And this episode came out on February 26, 2017. And this episode focused um, primarily on um, everything that's been going on with the Saviors since uh, the mid-season finale, which I thought was a good idea because we really hadn't had an update on them really all that much. Um, since that, since that episode, we did see them go to Alexandria when they were looking for Daryl, but we didn't really see anything that happened on their side of things back at the sanctuary, so that's kind of what this episode focused on. Um, the episode shows Dwight, um, after he's figured out that Daryl has escaped from his cell, and he finds this note that was written by, an, um, an anonymous person telling him to go now, and then finds, then he goes into his room and finds out that, uh, Daryl ransacked his room and trashed it um, before he had escaped. And then um, Negan walks in and uh, he takes Eugene and he has one of uh, um, his people take Eugene to his room that would have been Daryl's room um, if he had been if uh, Dwight had been able to break Daryl. And you know Eugene pretty much has. Um, um, is being treated kind of like a kin. He's being um he, he's allowed to eat whatever he wants, and um you know he's allowed to uh kind of do whatever he wants. And uh, I liked that part of the episode. And then a bunch of guys come in and jump Dwight, and Negan kind of comes in with Lucio, kind of um like you can't really see him; you only see the back of him. And then it cuts to the theme song, and then the actual episode happens itself. Now I'm gonna be honest. This episode's a little bit tougher for me to me for me to break down because when it comes to Eugene, since he's so smart, um, it's kind of tough to understand what he's saying because he uses a lot of big words I don't really know. So um, if I have if I get something wrong, that might that's definitely going to be the reason why. Um, and this episode kind of focused around two storylines again, so I'm going to talk about two of them again. So I'm going to talk about kind of the Dwight storyline first, because that was kind of a minor storyline. Um, so after uh, Dwight had been jumped, um, he was um, he was locked into Dale's old cell, <clears throat> and um, Negan um, pretty much has a great quote where he says, um, that, um, it's kind of funny how, uh, when Dale was in this cell, it, it seems like he broke you than, more than you broke him. And he acute, he locked him in, he reveals that he locked him in there to kind of put him back to earth a little bit because, uh, he real, he see, he realizes that there was an anonymous letter written to, uh, Dale telling him to go now and he wants, and, uh, Negan hypothesizes that it was either, Dwight or Sherry, uh, that ended up, uh, letting him go since Sherry dis ended up disappearing. So, Dwight tells him that it wasn't, um, either of them, and then Negan asked what his name is, and he said that he's Negan, and, um, Negan's proud of him for, uh, um, kind of conforming back and talks about how you're nothing like Daryl because Daryl's more emotional than you are. So he wants, uh, Dwight to go out and try to find Sherry, and Dr. Um, Emmett Coulson is um, stitching up um, Dwight, and Dr. Emmett thinks that Sherry uh, ended up letting go um, Daryl go because she was just starting to hate living in the sanctuary since, uh, you know, um, her life was a living hell, but Dwight doesn't want to believe it. Dwight rides off in his mo motorcycle, and Dwight goes to a house where uh, he promised that um, where him and uh, Sherry had always talked about going if there ever was going to be a uh, zombie apocalypse. And um, she reveals that she wrote this note and pretty much the gist of the note was that how she was miserable there and how Dwight used to be fun. They, um, she... Um, it, um, Dwight isn't the man that she remembers marrying, and at first she liked the change because she thought that Dwight needed to adjust to the change because of this world, but truthfully, she liked how he was before, and he ta she talks about how he has a bad memory, and how, 
Um, she let Dale go because it started to remind you of the old you, and I want to break you away from the old you. And she said that she may die out there, but I'd rather die out here than um, be there. And he had made this promise that he was going to show up there with pretzels and beer, and he did just that. And he was very upset to see her leave. And then um, he lies to uh, Dr. Um, Coulson, revealing that he killed her. And obviously, um, Dr. Coulson w apologizes for his loss. And I always, I overall really enjoyed that scene. And there's something that happens more with this storyline later, but it be kind, of, kind of becomes one storyline. So I'll kind of get to that when I get there. And after Eugene gets taken to the private room, Negan, um, he's pretty much being treated like royalty, which I didn't really expect at all. Um, I guess I should have kind of expected it because of his knowledge, but I kind of expected him to kind of get broken more the way Daryl was, where he was being tortured, having to listen to the same song again and again and again, but that didn't happen. Um, you know, Negan asks him a question about how, uh, they should keep the zombies, well, the walkers in this case. Um, not falling apart when they're chained together and, um, you know, Eugene kind of answers in a bullshit way. Um, Eugene's kind of going back to his old ways too from season four and season five where he's lying about who he is. He talks it when he mentions how he has a, uh, I actually have it written down. It's actually on Wikipedia. How he has a PD, how he has PDHDs, um, in biochemistry, um, microbiology and um, immunology and um, how he was a member I'm just reading this right off the thing because I don't really remember um, he was a mem he was a 10 person he was a member of a 10 person team at the human genome project to fight weaponized diseases um, so then Negan starts to like him and he lets him spend time with his wives and Eugene thanks him and yeah, Eugene at first is just playing video games with him. Um, and then they ask him about uh, microbiology. Or no, the, immu the immune biology. Um, and uh, no, the, not the immune job. The genome project. Um, and he gives a bullshit answer that I didn't really know anything that they talked about. And he said that he can make a bomb. So he makes a bomb using like jaws where he makes it explode. And then... Um, Two of uh, Negan's wives, um, Tanny and Frankie, uh, want Eugene to make them a suicide pill because Amber is just absolutely depressed. Um, and well, he reveals that they want the, that he want that they want him to make two because Amber wants to commit suicide. And at first he refuses, but then he does it under their request, and. He goes to actually and gets the stuff and he lies that he was uh, hired as um, Negan's um, doctor or something, a special engineer. So he's starting to become very com You can see that Eugene's starting to become very comfortable there. So before uh, I, I talk about the next scene, um, then um, one of, one of, Eugene's pe one of uh, Negan's people takes Eugene to uh, a group of people and Negan um, be beats up uh, Doctor Carlson with the with Lucille because Dwight um, he found a note he found the note that uh, Sherry wrote him earlier that said goodbye, honey, uh, revealing that uh, um, in his in his drawer, which means Dwight put it there, and Dwight uh, so Dwight framed Doctor Carlson of letting. Um, Daryl out of his cell, and I liked the quote that Negan used when he said that you let my dog out of its cage, and now I can't play with it anymore, or well, now I can't manipulate it anymore. So then, um, Doctor Carlson continuously tries to say that he didn't do it, and that he's about to burn his face with the iron, and he claims that Dwight wouldn't flame him for it because then he'll just get his other face burnt off, and he'll hunt down and kill Sherry and. He wasn't going really to get anything out of it. So, Dr. Carlson says that he did do it, to, so that way he'll um, he'll spare him his life. And at first, Negan acts like he's going to back off. But I obviously had to assume that Negan was just going to kill him anyways, 
And that's exactly what happened. He throws him into the uh, um, he throws him into um, the furnace, and he burns to death. Um, I I thought this was a really good scene here, and they force Eugene to watch it, and then um, Frankie and um, Frankie and um, I don't know how to spell her, say her name. Tanny come in and they ask for the pills, and Eugene isn't going to give them to him because he knows that they lied to him that um, the pills aren't for Amber, they're for Negan. And he doesn't want to give them to him, and they call him a coward, and Eugene says, You're right, I am a coward. And then Negan comes in and talks about uh, how he's made this a sanctuary for Eugene, and he wants to know what Eugene, and he's about to ask Eugene what his name is, but if before. Um, he can finish his question. Negan cuts him off and says that I'm Negan. I am, I always have been Negan before um, I even met you. And then the episode ends with Negan and Dwight looking out and says, "Where Dwight and Negan? Where Dwight and um, Eugene? And we're both Negan." So that pretty much means that uh, Negan, uh, that Eugene's now going to be a part of this, um, you know, sanctuary group. So overall, I thought that. Uh, that was actually a pretty good ending to the episode. And overall, I enjoyed this episode. I actually thought that uh, it was actually a uh, pretty good episode. I really enjoyed it. I liked uh, the stuff that happened with Dwight and Sherry and that whole storyline. And Eugene um, revealing that he's Negan. At first, I thought he was playing this as a trick on him. And he could be. But I don't know if he actually is. So overall, I enjoyed this episode. I would definitely give it a 7 out of 10. Good episode. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to probably do another one of these, but I'm still going to plug my stuff anyways. So please make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and click on the bell. So that way every time you upload a video, you guys will get the notifications for it. Make sure you guys do the same thing for my CM Brothers channel as well. And uh, click on the bell so that way uh, you, guys get, get, you guys get the notifications for it. And that's pr pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.